Welcome to Integrative Medicine Perspective. I'm Dr. Wendy Wu. One third of our body protein is collagen. So does that mean we need a lot of collagen in our diet? Let's say at least one third of our protein intake to be collagen. Most of the collagen is found in the skin, tendons, and bones. So will collagen supplementation promote the health of these structures? Let's say make our skin more supple, tendons more flexible, bones stronger. Actually, when we eat protein, regardless what type, collagen or other types, they are first broken into individual amino acids. Then these amino acids are utilized by our body to make various proteins, including collagen. So when we eat collagen powder, it does not directly go into the skin, tendon, or bones. It first contributes to the amino acid pool. We can decide on the type of a protein we eat, but we cannot necessarily decide where these proteins will ultimately be utilized in our body. For instance, 60% of arterial plaques is collagen. So the collagen powder we eat, will it promote collagen formation in the skin or in the arterial plaques? When we eat for the health of our skin, it is not enough to just focus on one single structure or material of the skin. We needed to consider a lot of factors. So what are the factors that promote our body to make a collagen in the skin? What are the factors that will promote our body to make arterial plaques, make arterial plaque collagen? Of course, then what are the factors that will prevent us to form arterial plaques? Eventually, the skin will not be healthy without healthy blood vessels. So when we plan our nutrition, it should not be planned for the health of one organ or one type of tissue. We need to plan our nutrition for the health of all organs and all our body tissues. Some people may differ because there are clinical trials that demonstrating supplementing collagen can help reduce skin wrinkles, uh, reduce uh, joint pain. So how do we use those study results, those study conclusions in our real life or in a uh, real uh, medical practice? Um, I talked about uh, the limitations of many clinical trials. Unfortunately, most of the clinical trials have significant limitations. Um, the trials of collagen powder are no exception. Uh, most of the intervention groups, the collagen group in these studies were supplemented with collagen powder. Uh, some uh, supplemented with additional vitamins, uh, additional minerals, but the control group was not given uh, at least an equal amount of protein or the same amount of uh, uh, vitamin and minerals. And they were simply given placebo. So these two groups are not necessarily comparable. Uh, when a study method has significant limitations, then the study conclusion has significant limitations in terms of real life uh, application. If supplementing collagen can promote collagen formation in the skin, then we better study whether supplementing collagen can promote collagen formation in the arterial plaques. Okay, putting aside whether collagen supplementation will help uh, collagen formation in the skin, collagen powder is a protein. So can we use collagen powder to help increase protein intake, to help ensure adequate uh, protein intake? From a pure protein quantity standpoint, it can be a method, but it is not a complete method or necessarily the healthiest method because collagen is not a complete protein source. When it comes to evaluating the quality of protein, several factors uh, needs to be considered. One of them is the completeness of essential amino acid. Uh, essential amino acids are those our body cannot make. We have to obtain them from foods. Um, another factor to evaluate the quality of protein is the balance of uh, uh, amino acids, meaning non-essential amino acids to essential 
amino acids ratio. Finally, uh, digestibility of protein. Uh, collagen is not a complete protein source because it lacks a specific essential amino acid, tryptophan. Uh, in addition, when compared with uh, animal protein, collagen has a relatively low content of essential amino acid. Uh, its digestibility is also relatively lower. So overall, collagen is not a high quality protein. Uh, now I wanted to make a clear differentiation between collagen and collagen rich foods. Animal part tendon is very rich in collagen. It also has other types of protein. It has a complete profile of essential amino acid. So animal tendon is a complete source of protein. In addition, it has uh, minerals and uh, vitamins. So collagen and collagen rich foods are very different. Um, so that's an important differentiation we need to uh, make. Uh, last, I wanted to emphasize the point. I, I talked about this before, um, but I think it is so important. So it is worth repeating. Protein powder, including collagen powder, is an empty calorie food, just like sugar. It is a pure or near pure form of energy without significant content of nutrients. I, I often call protein powder the new sugar, not because it can elevate uh, our blood sugar levels significantly, but because it is extremely poor in nutrition. I hope today's discussion about collagen uh, is helpful. Please leave comments and questions. I will see you soon.